Let's travel to distant, far off worlds. Let's see how to add a custom dimension to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial, we are finally going to add our own custom dimension to Minecraft. The first thing that I wanted to mention is that this has been heavily inspired, almost one to one, by the Daylight Dimension mod from Dunkmania 101. So I wanted to give proper credit where credit is due. The mod helped me insanely to kind of understand what is going on and how dimensions work. So of course, everything linked in the description and also in the actual credits as well. And yeah, from here, we can basically take it and go back to IntelliJ. And let's just start. Fairly easy process, all things considered. The really hard part of adding the dimension is getting it exactly the way you want to. And that's really the, well, very hard part. But let's first of all create all of the classes. So inside of our world package, right click new package called dimension. And then inside of there, we're going to create two new classes. One of them is going to be the mod dimensions class. And the other one is going to be the KJ teleporter. Now you could also call this the simple teleporter, whatever you really you want to, uh, that really makes no difference there. However, it is a particular teleporter there. Uh, I'm going to copy everything over. This is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository or in individual gists as well, because uh, this actually is quite a bit and usually it's more interesting if I go through and explain everything. So there's two things here which are, well, will be marked wrong. However, for you, they will not be because we're actually going to take the Kalpen Altar block and then here also the Kalpen, Kalpen Altar right there. So basically when we right click the Kalpen Altar, then we're going to be teleported. That's sort of the idea. And overall, what is happening here is, well, the main thing basically is this place entity method right here. So we're implementing the I teleporter and the place entity method basically places our entity into a different dimension. So we have the current world as well as the destination world. And what we're basically checking here is that, hey, is this destination spot that we want to set our new teleporter? Because of course, you know, when you are in, for example, the overworld and create a nether portal, then the nether portal gets generated on the other side as well. And that has to be a valid position. And that's basically what we're doing here. We're basically trying for about 25 times to find a valid position where we can place our, well, in this case, our Kalpen Alta. And once we have set that, then we're going to set the position of the entity to this new world. And well, and then we're going to basically also going to check, okay, can we also now set the Alta down there? Is the entity now going to be in a, in a wall and all of that? That's basically what it has, what is happening here. It's like I said, it's not too crazy. The main thing here is this, if we're inside of the dimension, are we going to set the a block to the block with which we can then teleport back? That's sort of the idea because that's kind of important. And this is also the method where you would replace things like that. So this is the teleportation basically. And the next thing we're going to do is the mod dimensions. Now that is actually so easy. I will write it out. And what you will notice is that I'm not going to make a deferred register. Actually, we're going to make a registry key of type world. And this is going to be called the KJ dim because that's just why not the open Joe dimension. I'm going to import the world class as well as the registry key class. And this is going to be equal to registry key dot get or create registry dot world key comma and then we want a new resource location tutorial mod dot mod id and then kgdim all written in a lowercase and that's literally all that our mod dimension class is there's literally nothing else that we need to do here i know it actually seems crazy but it is indeed the case because the actual data for the dimension going to be in our data folder in just a moment but first of all we're going to go to our Kalpen altar block right here and we're going to add it so that when you right click it you're going to be teleported into your new dimension and the thing is that you could in theory add this to any block that you want you simply want to use the on block activated method so right here on block activated this is the method that is being called when you right click a block i'm just going to format this a little bit nicer let's actually do something like this there you go and i'm going to copy over once again the contents of this class or rather this method here and you will see that it's actually not too bad all things considered if we take a look at this first of all are we on the server all right that's totally fine is the player not crouching also not an issue 
and then we have the we're basically getting the minecraft server and making sure that okay th does this exist and if it exists then the real interesting stuff happens because then we're basically asking okay in what dimension are we currently in because of course the actual our destination changes based on where we are right so in this case if you can see so the world get dimension key means in what dimension are we in is this our custom dimension then our new dimension is going to be the overworld and then we're basically saying okay as long as this exists then we're going to change to the overworld if we are however not in this kj dim then we're going to go basically into it so that is sort of the idea here all things considered this is actually not too crazy of a concept i think the really the the kicker once again are going to be the json files because they have to be formatted in a very particular way however that is actually all of the classes that we need to do and now i'm almost shuddering but we're going to go to the json files so i will actually create two new directories inside of our data folder tutorial mod and that is going to be the dimension folder as well as the dimension underscore type folder now i will actually copy over the json files that i've already prepared and i will explain once i have copied them over so we have like i said a dimension type and a dimension json file and the dimension type basically sort of um, has a few settings inside of it how the actual dimension works so as you can see do beds work does it have raids what is the height is there infinite burn for example things like that so there's um, a few well key type things in here and the dimension json file basically signifies hey how does this dimension look what type of biomes are there stuff like that and for that i have a great resource once again of course i'm talking about misode.github.io once for the dimension and once for the dimension type i can very much just advise you to try and use those two to generate your dimension json because even if you have like one thing that's missing that is not optional it's not going to work and it, the dimension is not going to properly register and you can also check the wiki so this is the minecraft fandom wiki on the custom dimension i can definitely also advise you to take a look at that because there you can see the syntax it is actually very important that the syntax here is absolutely correct so you can see that some things here uh, for example if you go down a little bit you will find that um first of all there's a lot of stuff in here right as you can clearly see you can have a different type of generators and you can see that sometimes some things are optional like the lakes here features here but not all of them are optional so even though if we take a look back here you can see that uh, what i have here is well just a few things however they all are basically what we have to have so they're all mandatory to have it's best if you want to, you know, create your own crazy dimensions, take a look at the wiki and the missile generator. I can definitely just advise you to take a look at all of those and then you will hopefully probably get to create the dimension of your dreams, so to speak. And then there's also, of course, GitHub repositories of other mods that also might help you to just, you know, get closer to what you want to create. However, that is all that we need to create our own custom dimension. So now let's see if it works all right and of course also don't forget to create a new world for this sometimes it might work like retroactively however creating a new world definitely makes sure that everything works fine so keep that in mind and once again you will be greeted by the experimental settings here that are not supported this is just how it's going to be there is a mod that i will link in the description below that you can basically well recommend to your users that also use your mod that is basically just gonna shut this down and not going to have this however that is something you will well have to kind of figure out and just tell your users so that because this is definitely very annoying all right we found ourselves in minecraft so let's see let's take the kaupen altar and let's just set it down and when i right click it i should get teleported to the new dimension that is a promising start and here i am in the new dimension now it looks very similar because of course well it's just the normal overworld however if i press f3 then you can see right here tutorial mod kj dim so i am actually in the other well dimension and i can simply right click the cop altar again and i will get teleported back to exactly the uh, place where i was before so i would say that's pretty cool
Right, and once again, actually creating the dimension to your exact specifications can be very difficult and, you know, it's going to be a lot of work. However, hopefully this is going to be the first step to actually implementing your dimension and then every fine tuning you will have to do yourself. But I'm very confident that after all that we've been through with this tutorial series, you can do it. So I'm very excited to see what types of mods you come up with. And if you want to share those, by the way, there is a link in the description below to my Discord server that you can join. There you can also, of course, receive some help from myself or some community members. And it's all in all just a great place where you can also share your basically work and your mod. And yeah, so that's uh, something I wanted to mention. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah, 